In Minnesota is um, the only clinic that does uh, blood and marrow transplant for EB patients to try to uh, re it's not a cure, but they, it's to try to reduce the blistering and enhance their quality of life tremendously. And so you're going to be the donor? I am. Um, he's a part of me already, but he's going to have a part of me, which is kind of weird when you think of it. But, I mean, it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> so why now? Like, why, why take this step now? It's only available for us for a certain amount of time. If our EV gets worse enough, Great. well we won't survive so we can't really do it and my time is drawing short for this procedure to be done maybe another year maybe less so now eb we haven't been able to heal wounds it just seems like we're at a kind of dead end so this opportunity came to us and since it's one of the last chances we get we figured we'd just take it you wrote in your piece that um not being able to take away his pain for even a minute has challenged me as a person has led me to question everything I believe in. Can you, can you tell me about that? You grow up with these beliefs that time will heal and dust settles and with EB it doesn't. You know, everything happens for a reason, really. That's a little tough and I mean when people tell me that sometimes I'm like, you know, I kind of giggle now because I get it. But being a young mom and even to this day sometimes, I'm like, how can you have that much suffering? Why is, like, everything happens for a reason. You know what, he's made me the person I am today. But at the same time, I'm thinking that he could have probably challenged me <laughs> any, <laughs> other, other, <laughs> any other way. I mean, you being the caregiver, so I mean, you're the one that is always hurting him no matter what, taking the dressings off when they're stuck and having to reapply them. I mean, no matter where you touch him, you, you know, like I'll try to get him out of the tub at that point and he's not wearing anything. Well, I mean, I'm, my hands are in sores. How can I help you without hurting you? And I know that if my hands slip, I'm going to take the skin off. And what are the other challenges of being an EV parent? <laughs> oh, goodness. How many do you want to name? <laughs> um, having to explain to your child while they're not invited to birthday parties. Because Jonathan's never been invited. You know, always being on the sidelines. And I mean, he has a sister that plays hockey, a sport that he always wanted to to play and ex trying to explain to him that he will never be able to play hockey. It, it's tough because, I mean, you never want to limit your kids into anything. And I mean, I encourage Jonathan to do everything. And I mean, I think we've shown that numerous times that he's done, you know, like we're always, I'm always encouraging him to do everything he can be. But at the same time, I have to also manage expectations. And so, and so from what I understand, you're the first Canadian to get this treatment. What risks are do you face doing this? Well, for sure there are risks of death because, well, when your immune system is low, a cold or any virus almost could, could potentially kill you. Well, there There's always this, a risk that his body rejects the bone oh, right. But, you know what? We've been waiting for something like this. Oh yeah, for sure. And I mean, it has to have a happy ending. It has to. It has to. Yeah.